Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, let's talk about the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars way from Qatar. You know, we are out of the World Cup already, but hey, we still need to talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. Look at what is next for us going into the AFCON 2023, which um, is going to be played in 2024. There are a lot of issues coming in after Ghana exited the tournament in Qatar. A lot, a lot, and one of them that actually pissed me off today is the Abiba issue. Um, well, <laughs> we are going to talk about it. Um, it was interesting to see Abiba and Langabel trending in Ghana here. Why? What is it? What is it? Well, let's talk about it here on this channel. Then you also let me know what you think about it. A lot of players are leaving camp, and I'll also bring you updates on it. Before then, can you drop us a like after liking the video? Make sure you smash the subscribe button, you put on the bell. For more updates on this channel this video is also brought to you in collaboration with lemonade finance lemonade finance is an app used to send money to africa so if you're based in us uk canada wherever and you want to send money to africa here just go to play store app store download lemonade finance app to send money free of charge if you send money no deduction on your transaction you are going to get the best exchange rate on the market as well after downloading use oskeni as your referral to get 10 percent cash back on your first transaction so let's begin it like this now the black stars of ghana we all know that we have exited the world cup 2022 in qatar and most of the players are leaving today a lot of them left um the ones i can confirm to you will be the likes of thomas Tepate, who is moving from qatar straight to dubai yes to continue their pre-season or mid pre-season in there as well then salis abdul samed who also plays for Lons today also left and a lot, of, a lot of the players, Tarek Lamte, Inyaki, most of them are going back to their various clubs and also countries of residence. So, fast forward, let's talk about the substantive issue, the reason why I'm making this video. Now today, um, you know, we were there and um, a journalist posted about, you know, Ghana Black Stars World Cup journey and a whole lot of stuff. Um, as you know, her name is Nana Banamo. She said, instead of adopting a proper roadmap for the World Cup, the GFA and their part-time coach spent time doing international collabs for players who didn't feel Ghanaian until a few months ago. The flop at the World Cup is the result. Yep, the campaign was a huge flop. Yes, we know we didn't do well, but you know, one thing I hate about most of Ghanaian journalists, of which I'm also a journalist, is that most of us actually you know speak about issues without bringing solutions yes because um we may hire a coach today most of the people will be like the coach is not good the coach has done this he's done that but no one will be able to provide a solution a solution the same way another journalist also came to actually blame everything on a lady her name is abiba that's the only thing they said she's a hairstylist they say her name is abiba she is the one who have been actually going into the I mean, the Black Stars of Ghana's camp too. Um, I don't know the players who are who have dread and other ones. She'll go and you know lock it for them and a whole lot of stuff. And all because Langabel said it. And I don't get it. I don't get it. Langabel, he is a chief drummer for the for, for, for the national teams. Usually you see him going there to drum, sing, and those kind of things. I don't know if you you don't be confused. Let's go and watch Langabel's um, you know, um, um claims that she's the reason why. Ghana is, is actually out of the World Cup. Let's go and listen to Langa, but after that, we'll continue from here. So Ghana will progress, go to this day. Mm -hmm. Then this girl, I don't know the girl in name. Which girl? That girl who, the girl who always come and, uh, how do you call it? Who plates their hairs for That's them. it. Mm -hmm. A lady. A lady? Abiba. Abiba. Abiba locks. Thank you, Mekong Gadi. Mm -hmm. Abiba. Any time I thought Abiba will come to the Blaster camp, then we lost our match. Egypt, you don't come to come through out of to play all our three matches. We won all. We in Tunisia, this guy came, came to the hotel to come and do the boys that might have fun. Even to morning, when he sleep the camp, we are out of the competition. The same thing, he came to Brazil. We are out of the competition. A Kotora Guinea. The same thing. Come here. Do the thing to the boys. We are out of the competition. Today too, I saw this girl at 
the hotel. And I told this guy that I told the team manager, if the team manager said me Langa, I'm a liar, you should come and pass me. We have witness who saw the dead day. And the guy hold the bag like you, this bag like this. And he climbed the, the steps with the team manager and Salis. And I called the team manager, I told the team manager, this guy went, is, 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 you are you, you allowed him, you are allowed him here. No? He will give us problems. Who who got difficult to get our match? The team manager said that oh, is that uh, some of the players say they want to do them ahead. No, that's why they brought them there. He brought he brought her to come and do that. That's it. Then me myself asked uh, uh, team. I told him that when this guy finished there. When... All right. So that is from Langabel and. Can you imagine Langabel and Abiba was trending today? Leaving the main issue, the Black Stars of Ghana, how we can actually move forward. How can you tell me that a hairstylist is the reason why we are out of this World Cup? And they were saying it on Twitter. I was like, come on, what is going on as journalists? When you bring in a coach, this coach is not good. Now provide a solution. You, you, you guys should know. Most of the people, they will be like, this person is not good. He should go. Who should come? Yes, we have a lot of people. Suggest one. There are many people who said, okay, Otoado wasn't good. Now provide a coach. It will even surprise most of you that Chris City will come. Many will say Chris City is not good. Heavy Renard will come. Many will say Heavy Renard is not good enough for the team. But we will forget that a certain Senegal left Ali Sissi to continue man the job. Even when he was failing, even when he was losing matches, they still kept him, motivated him to continue working. Yes, Otuado wasn't having a lot of time. He actually accepted it because of, you know, um, 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 that reason he's not leaving. We understood 100%. Most of us weren't happy for him being a part-time coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. But not Otuado's case alone. Most of the coaches who come to the Black Stars of Ghana, everyone will be saying they are not good enough. They, 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 tactically, they are weak. Now, those people criticizing if you ask them to mention one coach, they can't mention. They can't. Saying that we were following players who did not feel Ghanaian, meaning that she's actually throwing shades to the like of um, Inyaki Williams, Tarek Lamte, um, Salisu. You, so can you tell me that Salisu Mohammed, when he came to the Blasters of Ghana, didn't he add quality at the back line? He added, he's a top-notch defender. We need such a defender for tournaments ahead. We have AFCON ahead of us. We have the qualifiers starting next year. And also we are going to play the next AFCON in 2024. Let's start planning for it. Let's get a very good plan. The, pre the kind of pressure we should give to them is to give them pressure so that they appoint coach early. So that they give us the roadmap on how things will be done. Not focusing on a certain Abiba who is doing her job. She is doing her job. And what shows that you, Langabel? You weren't the, the, the bad luck. So you want to tell me that Andrea, are you kicking the penalty for the keeper to save it is because of Abiba? How can Abiba, you know, you know, cause penalty, penalty to be saved by a goalkeeper? It doesn't make sense to me personally. So the time Ghana we play 2010 World Cup, when Asamojan played that penalty and hit the he hit the um, um, um the crossbar and it went over, it's because of Abiba. When she then when we we're qualifying to the quarterfinals, it didn't make sense to me. I think. We should focus on the issues, the most important issues. That is what we should be deliberating about on social media. So usually, when I see, I'll just be, you know, just be scrolling through. I won't have time to be arguing with them because most of them do not speak to the issues. Let's speak about the issues. Why did Baba Rahman play ahead of um, Union Mesa? Let's talk about that. Why did this player contribute this? Why did this player do that? Those are issues going to help the football to progress. Not just sitting down saying that this is bad luck, Spirit, spiritism. You want to tell me that it's because of a certain lady. That's why, um, you know, our players did not concentrate on the pitch. She didn't go to sleep in their rooms. When other countries send, people, uh, you know, hairstylists to the to the tournament and those things, many rather tend to, to be praising them. Is the day are you um 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 what you having dread? He's not having dread. You can't tell me she went to sleep in his room. Most of our, most of our players. Like, oh come on! I don't, I don't get it. You know, I feel like let's 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 deliberate on issues that are going to help the national team progress. 
not issues based on you know personality attack or something yes we can tag the fa they are this they are that but let's speak to issues the issues will rather help the national team to develop that is what most of us are looking for it for not just talking about people without having any i heard that Rangabe has come out again to say that um, actually he was he wasn't or he didn't know what he was even saying it's a loose talk because come on you can't come and you know bring this kind of mayhem and later on say that it is a loose talk loose talk like how so guys this is what is worrying me i don't know what you think about it let me know it in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates here on this channel this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later and subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more